Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First, I thank the people and government of China for inviting us for this very important and historic high-level meeting focusing on high-quality belt and road cooperation and for their warm welcome extended to all of us. I also acknowledge the deep appreciation and leadership of the FOCA co-chairs and the work done by the Secretariat to diligently coordinate all the preparatory activities which have made this high-level meeting possible. Further, I take this opportunity to commend the strong vision and effective leadership through which His Excellency President Xi Jinping has made unique contributions to the strengthening of cooperation between Africa and China, particularly through the Belt and Road Initiative and the four global initiatives which encompass a broad range of transformative undertakings in development, security, and culture. And for the wide-ranging statement on the 10-point partnership action plan that encompasses China's support for Africa to access concessional resources and credit facilities, and for opening up China's market to those of us in the African continent. It is a measure of true friendship that our agricultural produce can access Chinese markets. Without a doubt, the impact of the programs and projects under BRI is demonstrable, significant, and positive across the African continent from north to south and from east to west. In Kenya, for example, we have, with the support of, and funding of China under BRI, completed 600 kilometers of standard gauge railway. We have completed phase one of Lamu port. We have also completed a modern oil terminal in the port city of Mombasa, the expressway, and we have also completed thousands of kilometers of road connecting rural to urban Kenya, farms to markets, and transporting raw materials to manufacturing industries. The relationship between China and Africa, and Kenya by in specific, is so real that this year, early this year, when I went to one of our rural towns, and the citizens were asking me for an airstrip, when I asked them where they wanted to travel to, if the airstrip is built, they said they wanted to travel to China. And when I later found out, it was because the road in their neighborhood had been built with Chinese support, with a Chinese contractor. That is the depth of the relationship between China and our continent. 